I say, bro, I, I never understood how dudes um, shake back after something like that, getting embarrassed publicly like that. And then, you know, for the woman, bro, like, damn, don't have a heart. Say yes in the moment. And then when y'all get in the car away from everybody, be like, listen, I ain't going to lie to you. I only say, yeah, because I ain't want to embarrass you. I, I think I owed you that much. But as far as following through with this, I'm not going to be able to do it. I think I got a better option out there. You're not the best I can do. Because that's why they saying no. Real talk. But, bro, that's messed up, man. Real talk. I canceled my wedding four months before my wedding date. We went from a 100% wedding reception to getting eloped with our family. People always ask me if I regret not having a big wedding, and to be honest, sometimes I do. I wish everyone we loved were there, however, moments like this makes it so worth it. Not only do we get to enjoy every single moment of our special day, with the money we save from our wedding reception, we decide to splurge on our honeymoon. I don't know if without all the restriction, we still would have done the same thing, but at this moment, sitting on the beach with my husband on our honeymoon, I'm so glad that... Hey, bro, you a lucky dude because most of the time, these women be bridezillas, dog. And for a woman to say, I don't want to spend all of your money, our money, whatever you want to call it, on a wedding just so that we can entertain other people and have a big-ass party, which that's all it is. It's a big-ass party for adults. Take that money and go actually enjoy each other's company. That's the smart thing to do, man. Real talk. 35, 40, 50 grand on a wedding is so uh, stupid especially for average earners that don't make no sense man both of y'all are earning 50k a year and y'all are spending 50,000 on a one day event <laughs> that 50k can go towards a house or some type of investment and look at that man that food looked delicious from diddly umptious you know what i'm saying real talk man that's a keeper right there dog a woman that's willing to protect your pockets is a woman you need to stay plugged in with like a socket i'm gonna keep it real with y'all Hey man, just be thankful that your wife is not like this next lady I'm about to show you, dog. This is crazy. A bride canceled her wedding and dumped her fiance after guests refused to pay an entrance fee of $1,500 each. She explained her decision in a lengthy Facebook post and boy was this Facebook post a ride. The woman and her ex-fiance had saved up $1,500 for the wedding, but because their love was like a fairy tale, they wanted an extravagant blowout wedding. She wanted to be a Kardashian for a day. They were torn between two wedding venues, but a psychic pushed them to choose a more expensive venue in Aruba that would cost around $60,000. So this couple requested that each guest give them $1,500 in cash to pay off their wedding. Because how could they have their dream wedding without proper funding? The bride didn't think this was out of line at all. Only eight people RSVP'd to this wedding and paid the $1,500, which made this woman and her ex-fiance livid. And it became clear they weren't going to get their dream wedding. The ex-fiance suggested they get married in Vegas, which caused the bride-to-be to have a panic attack. The maid of honor and then slowly the rest of the bridal party dropped out of this wedding and this woman refused to give anyone a refund. According to The Knot, the average spent on a wedding gift is about $160, not $1,500 in cash to cover an extravagant dream wedding. Guests should give gifts in the price range they can afford and should not feel pressured to spend beyond their means. What would you do if you were invited to a wedding with an entrance fee? Hey, dog, I ain't even gonna lie to y'all. Even if that was my daughter, I ain't paying no $1,500 to go to no damn wedding. <laughs> I'm not, bro. I don't care. $1,500 to see you get married, man. I could do so much more with that $1,500, dog. I don't give a damn, bro. You crazy as hell. Then your family members and friends supposed to pay $1,500 too so you can act like a Kardashian? First of all, sir, why do you even want to marry a woman who wants this type of party? This extravagant, lavish wedding. She's a bridezilla and you're going to get divorced because she's going to never, ever be satisfied. This is the type of woman you with. She's she has an insatiable appetite for glamour and all that kind of stuff, man. Please do not be stupid and marry this type of woman. You setting yourself up for failure, bro. Take your ball and go home. <laughs> I just don't know how y'all gonna shake back from this, man. This is some stuff that's gonna follow you for the rest of your life, bro. Even if your boy joking. Bro, you remember when old girl told you no? Stupid ass. <laughs> hey, man, that's crazy. <laughs>
Y'all know what's crazy about this? They not even dressed crazy. They just built like that, bro. Like, there's no see-through dresses. The dresses aren't extra short coming up here showing the coochie. They just built like that in the motherland, bro. A lot of y'all might go over there and be like, God damn, bro, you know what? Baby, I ain't never coming home. Passport bros in the building, Lord. They built different over there, bro. Real talk, man. I don't know what they version of, you know what I'm saying, cornbread and grits and all that is over there, but they eating it for sure. You know what I'm saying? Like when y'all look at the Southern girls, they be like, oh yeah, she cornbread fed partner. Thicker than the, you know what I'm saying? Thicker than cold grits. Listen, bro. I'm going to tell y'all one thing, bro. Let them be in America at a wedding, boy. Niggas is at they hat. <laughs> Straight up. <laughs> That's crazy. This is the wildest ask uncut we have ever received. I'm at an absolute loss. My fiance and I have been together for six years. We have an amazing relationship and shortly after we got engaged, we decided to make our secret fantasy a reality. I asked my fiance if he would be willing to have a threesome, a one-off experience for us both before we get married. We both agreed to doing this and I ended up asking a friend of mine if she would be willing. We all agreed and after a lot of great communication, we worked out what we were okay with and how it would all go down. Fast forward to the night, we all had quite a bit to drink. To be honest, the whole night felt like an exciting blur. Last week, she called and dropped an absolute bombshell on us. She called me when I was at work and told me that she was pregnant. I don't even have words. Preg. Pregante. And that my fiance is the father. I called my fiance straight away. He said, oh my God, I actually think the condom did break, but I was too drunk to remember or to even think about talking about it. She's decided to keep the baby. Holy shit. I know. She says, I feel really blindsided. I have no idea what to do. How do I even process this? My fiance and I do want kids together one day, but the idea of him having a baby with another woman makes me feel sick. How do we explain this to friends and family? How do we know if this can even work? I feel so overwhelmed. I don't know. Yeah, that's the ugly side of having threesomes that they don't tell you about. You run the risk of getting somebody pregnant. You run the risk of swapping bacteria, catching venereal diseases. All kind of stuff can happen. Somebody can catch feelings. You run the risk of all of that happening. You know, you just got to be prepared for the things that you wasn't prepared for. But I wouldn't be that boy, Will. Why am I speaking in third person? Anyway, I wouldn't be who I am if I didn't tell y'all this. First of all, get the get the DNA test because let's be real. She asked that specific friend because she know that friend with the shits. Chances are the baby not even for her fiance. Let's be real. Let's call a spade a spade. You're sitting up there going through your Rolodex, your phone. Okay, I'm not gonna ask Susan. I'm not gonna ask Jessica. I'm not gonna ask this person. Oh, she she's promiscuous. Let me let me ask her. <laughs> She made him put on a rubber too. She know how a friend get down. Baby, probably not for him, bro. Let's be real. <laughs> Bro, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. If my black ass would have been at that wedding, I would have been looking just like this. All we need is a plate. <laughs> nah, she ain't never double cheeked up on a Thursday afternoon. What you doing out here with all that ass? All right, <laughs> pizza, that dude. A lot of y'all probably don't even know, man. That man passed away a couple years ago, bro. Cold blooded. Dude, it was funny too, man. But nah, bro, like, listen, passport bros, man. India, bro. India is definitely ready, B. Real talk, man. Know a couple cats out there doing their thing down in DC, B. They doing their thing over there. That's how they coming in the India, Lord. That's crazy, man. No, hey, respectfully. Respectfully. <clears throat> <laughs> Get really close, Victor. Nah, my boy Victor was trying to see what's down with that, bro. He was trying to see what's up, bro. Scare ass. Think of what, hey, I'd have had to go in my mood. Granted, if I'm a single man, bro, real talk, and I'm in a wedding, one of them bridesmaids getting hit with the quickness. I'm serious, though. All you gotta do is make them laugh a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Laugh her draws off. <laughs> you so funny, nigga. All that there, boy, I'm telling you, boy, that's the way to get them. I swear, bro. Make a pretty girl laugh, you in there.
Toma tu pelota y vete a casa. Listen, for those of y'all who don't speak Spanish, I'm going to tell you what I just said. I said, take your ball and go home. Because <laughs> goddamn, in front of your partners on a boat, ain't no way, man. Listen, that's a dud. You got to break up with her after that. Go get your money back. She don't like you like that. I'm going to tell you what it is, too. All them niggas on the boat, she feels in her mind one of them niggas is a better option than what she got in front of her partner. And guess what? If that's the case, go let her be with one of them boys. Real talk. You somebody child. <laughs> That's uh, Mephistophelian right there. That's appalling. That's that's diabolical. That is atrocious. That is wicked, devilish, lamentable. That is demonic, bro. That is deplorable, if you will. That is all kind of words that I wish I could remember. They made us learn all these damn words, these $5 words back in college, bro, to study for the MCAT. Man. <laughs> Oh, that's crazy, bro. I ain't gonna lie to y'all, bro. That's appalling. <laughs> hey, because look, she gonna tell you nothing happened. Nothing happened. And even if nothing happened, how can you know you wasn't there? That's gonna haunt you for the rest of your life. And that's the, marry the woman you want to marry? Man, you better go ahead, man. <laughs> so look, this guy was about to get married to this woman that you see in the picture on the left. Also, the same woman is on the right getting folded up like a pretzel. Somebody sent him a video of the bachelorette party and that's what helped him make his decision to cancel the wedding. Bro, it be the women who look innocent, dog. See them glasses, bro? She have an innocent look about her. Freaked out. <laughs> hey, man, keep them glasses on, God damn it. <laughs> All right, check this out, y'all. Got another encounter where a man took his ball and went home not just home he went duff fuck home <laughs> check this out bro am i wrong for canceling our wedding no you're not sir anytime a man cancels a wedding you know some crazy shit going on we have been engaged for three years that's a long time my fiance went on a trip of a lifetime six weeks in europe she decided that we would take a break in our relationship oh that's a red flag wanting to break right before a marriage come on bro wanting to break period is a bad sign allowing me no input in the decision I called her the day she left and had me blocked. <laughs> what? So I canceled our marriage and her moving in with me in March. She called me the day to inform me of her arrival time on Thursday morning. Man, why do I care? To which I answered, what does that have to do with me? And have since blocked her. <laughs> you go, boy. You go, boy. He says, edit. I should have explained better. I was fine with her trip with her old college sisters. You tripping. In fact, I dropped at the airport and took her to boarding. That is when she dropped the whole break thing on me. Didn't explain it, just told me a matter of fact and left. Ooh, she doesn't respect you at all. She looks at you like a beta. I called her the rest of the day and tried to call her when I was able to the rest of the week. After five days of ignoring me, I had enough that the wedding was off. She can move in with someone else because it's not going to be me. See, that's how you take your ball and go to hell home, bro. Let's get into a couple of these comments. Cancel wedding fees are much cheaper than a divorce lawyer in court costs. Whoo, that boy spitting. She blocked you for six weeks to go to Europe on a break so she could bang people. I am so sorry that happened to you. I would have broken up with my partner if he blocked me just because he goes on the trip. If she wants to be free before the marriage, she will do it again. Not wrong. Whoo, claw that mercy. That's crazy. 
Fellas, whenever your girl out the blue tells you that she wants a break, listen, don't ever take her back, bro. Because what's happening is this. She thinks that there's a better option out there or she may be already messing around on you, dog. Either way, you don't want no parts of that, bro. Real talk, go let her live her life. Don't try to talk her back into staying in the relationship. She's already made her mind. If she's saying the words out of her mouth, her mind is made up, dog. Don't you do all that begging and all that kind of stuff there because all that do is make her have all the power. It gives her all of the leverage and you look weak and women don't like weak men. So you're doing yourself a, dis uh, a disservice if you take her back, bro. I remember when my son went to the doctor and he was 298 pounds. They Damn. wanted me to come back in three months so he could start medication for diabetes. So I okay. made sure he went to football practice every single day. Whether he wanted to or not, I did not give him a choice. Then when the season was over, I made him come to the gym with me every day. I also changed his diet. Everything was grilled, baked, no soda, no juice, only water and a smoothie every single day. And after one year, he lost 29 pounds and his doctor was so shocked to see him. I am so proud of him, but the beginning was not easy. He had an attitude and he did not want to do none of the things I told him. But I knew my job as a parent was to make sure that he was healthy and not my friend. And once he yeah. started seeing results and changes in his body, I no longer had to hold his hand. Now he works out six days a week, twice a day on Saturdays. He even changed his diet completely. Now he doesn't eat anything heavy past 8 p.m. And he makes a protein smoothie every single night. Oh, and he Lord. asked me for a personal trainer. I had no choice but to say yes because I was so proud of how much he has changed. And now after two years of him being consistent and disciplined, he has reached his goal of being 226. Look at that. Hey, bro, I ain't gonna lie. This was the best segment of Positive Vibes I've did in a long time. Matter of fact, I ain't did it in a long time. That was amazing, bro. Shout out to the mom, bro, because you know what? She had to do what she had to do. Them doctors be quick to prescribe some medicine and all that kind of stuff. Dude, this boy young. The medications have side effects. Lasting... Bro, not to go off on some other shit, but man, I was watching um, the Pelicans game the other day. A commercial came on. It was a skin care medication. And they said the side effects could be suicidal thoughts for skin care. Oh my God, bro. That is crazy to me. But nah, man, shout out to her, bro, because that was miraculous. That was amazing. You cannot see this video and not feel some type of way positively that is this was a great video man we need more moms like this real talk if the man not around to help out bro you gotta do as much as you possibly can just buying your kids shoes and all that kind of stuff and video games is not raising them this is raising a man right here and long as he got some other men around him his coaches maybe some uncles a grandfather something like that a mentor bro he gonna be all right you know real talk